y'all doing today? So we in Hudson Yards. We're at the Devin Rodriguez art exhibit. I couldn't get inside. He came outside though. This guy in the, I don't know, is he leaving? No, he's just walking around. He's trying to get in. There he is, right there. In the white shirt, black and white shirt. How you doing, Miguel? He has like 15 pictures on the wall. I didn't get here early enough to catch him to get online. The line is a block long. His name is Devin Rodriguez. He's the guy that does the, the videos where he's drawing art. The person on the train, that's what he does. And then he hands them the picture. And then he tells you, you know, I drew you. coming out to say hello to the fans because the art exhibit is short it's like six to eight right now it's ten after seven new york time he's in the black and white shirt i think he's going back in basically getting mobbed I did a video of him on Fifth Avenue a little over a month ago, maybe two months now. But all of these people is not going to get in. It's supposed to be 10 days long. That's what one of the guys, the security guards told me. This, block, this exhibit is like a block long. He's, he's famous for, like I said, drawing people on the subway. He'll sit across from you and just draw you in a few minutes while, the, while he's riding the train. And then he'll hand you the picture saying, I drew you. And the picture looks just like you in detail. But, um, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to go in but I wasn't sure if they was gonna let me video, but it's free. It's a free event, but you can you can do all the videos you want. I didn't know that, and plus, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to live stream, and, it, and I didn't want to just lose the signal. I'm gonna stay here for a little while longer. Then I'm gonna leave. Cause the line is way too long. I can't get in. It's all. It's got. It's less than an hour. Then it's gonna shut down. So. Um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, He was 
see the line is real long. I'm telling you, it goes the whole block. It looks like a movie line from the 1980s. All those people on the line, all those people you see against the wall, came out to see his exhibit. Like I said, he had like 12 to 15 pictures on the wall. A painting, it's all paintings, I believe. That's what he said before. You can check, you can check them out on YouTube and TikTok. He's the most famous artist doing like sketches. And then sometime he'll take his sketches and then turn them into paintings. But they they real big paintings. About wall size paintings, some of them. You can also, if you want to see a close-up video of him, of him just talking to me, I did a video of him. Like I said, it's about two months old on YouTube. YouTube Shorts. You know, say his name, Devin Rodriguez. And I did like less than a minute video. But if it's gonna be 10 days long, then I'll just come on. That's day. amazing. I'm not gonna to try to go in, being that it's gonna end soon. Yeah, of course. That's some of this work. One of the guys he drew. I know. <laughs> Okay, he's on his way down. I told him he can't get it. Look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna try to get right there. Right there, right now. Okay, the new holds okay. like 200 people. We'll be back. We'll be back. It's more like a first come, first serve basis. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's right here. Sorry about the bobbing and weaving with the camera, but I'm following like everybody else. How you doing, Candle? I may try to come later in the week. I said it was, I was told it was 10 days long. He only had it for one day that I know of. I got it on social media from, I got an email of it. So I subscribe to his channels on YouTube and TikTok. I got let me know if y'all see any buffering going on. Yeah. Where's the teacher? I know, but the other lady left. Yeah, whatever. I have to change the title of this video because I wasn't expecting him to come out. I thought he was just going to stay inside because he has a small contest where five people can win. 
I guess he's going back inside. How you doing, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> What did she have on? Adrian Jonathan. This is Devin Rodriguez. He's a portrait artist from the Bronx. He does portraits of people on the train. He'll do it on the spot, like while you're sitting across from him. He'll draw you real quick and it'll look just like you. You can check him out on YouTube and TikTok. His name is Devin Rodriguez. Right now, he's just doing an art exhibit that lasts from six to eight. Yeah, there you go. Hi, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, she's right here. Yeah, this, this, I wanted to go inside. Thank you. But when I saw that line, I was like, there's no way I'm going to make it. So that's why I didn't go inside. Couldn't go inside. Really. Line formed around four o'clock. I got you. And I got here like a little over an hour ago. Thank you, sir. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. So sorry. How you doing? This is all the teacher. Over here, over here, over here. I guess he's gonna go back in and. Meet the rest of the crowd. Yeah, it's the same guy. He sketches people on the train. Probably take express trains. He catch people on the express train. So that's enough time where the train is running for a few minutes. Basically, that's all he needs. Yeah, he made all of this stuff for social media. I was on the cusp of leaving. Right when I was about to leave, that's when he came out the door. follow him till he goes go inside and then I'm gonna break out that's gonna be pretty much it became bigger than he thought like I said the 
The new only holds like 200 people, but it's free. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get hit with the uh, strike over there. Yeah, I, I left something out, guys. Uh... Yeah. Bro. What I was gonna do at first, I was gonna re I was gonna start the stream on the number seven train in the Hudson Yards. That's what I was gonna do at first. I work from the tunnel and work my way up in here. But then, some said, well, what if they don't let me record? Like, let me, what if they don't let me live stream? And then, I was wondering also, I said, well, what if I get inside and try to live stream and I lose the signal? I said, let me just see what it looks like. And then when I got here, like I said, the, the line runs a block long. It runs this whole block. That's a long block. And then I just said, forget it. I saw the line. And I stuck around for a while. And then um, he came out. Eventually he came out. But it, it's going to be ending in about a half an hour. Yeah. It's gonna end in about an hour. I mean, a half hour. No, I only told the artist. I didn't talk to anybody else. I'm gonna head my way out of here. So I'm just gonna walk around. Like I said, I originally, I thought it was gonna. I didn't think that the audience was gonna be that big. But everybody came after work. And it started at six. This is somebody else's um, art exhibit. Didn't expect them to come outside. That was cool. All of those people ain't gonna make it. Make it in the seat of work. Like I said, he has like 15, somebody, I saw somebody coming out. That's the only reason why I know. He said he has like 15, 16, Art pieces on the wall. And I think he's gonna draw like maybe five people. Something like that. And maybe I'll try to come back if it's true that he's gonna be here for 10 days. Well, the art exhibit is supposed to run for 10 days. And I may try to come back and see, try to get the art. I like the so book. We're on 10th Avenue on the west side. That's where we're at now. I see this everywhere. Mainly in the West Village. I don't know what they're doing, but somebody got a lot of time on their hands to do that. That's the first time I'm like putting it on video. Well, live stream.
So even if the people don't even get in, even though it's ending soon, I mean, it's free, so you can't even really complain. And if it's going to be here for 10 days, I mean, they can come at any time. But maybe here will increase the time instead of 6 to 10, I mean 6 to 8. Maybe here will increase the viewing time. Make it an all day thing. He probably just set it from six to eight because that's the time he was going to be here. So maybe that's why he set it for six to eight. I'm trying to wait for this music to get down. I don't want to leave y'all in a dead quiet. I'm gonna turn the mic off for a moment and try to get past this guy with the music. I've been waiting to do this for like since he told me. Like I said, that was probably like two months ago. About two months ago or more. So I wrote everything down. Then he sent me an email anyway. Because I subscribed to his channel. guys are in traffic and they still blowing horns. Unbelievable. How you doing RJ? trying to finish up the extension of the Hudson Yards. They still got a lot more work to do. They gotta catch the portion from 34th Street and go to 42nd Street. So really 30, 35th, 34th, they got like a few more blocks to go. coming from <laughs> yeah that was a surprise though that's his first art exhibit Pretty sure he's gonna be doing that in the future. More art exhibits. And now, like I said, the first one is free. But I decided to get you. <laughs> it's free. And then it's gonna get big enough where you'll start charging. One of the people is um, here's from Texas. Some, uh, some girl. I don't know if she came way out here just for this. But then again, you never know. Some people will do it. And especially if they're into the art, like doing it themselves.
I got to see one of the pieces of art he did because he showed it online. Like two guys sitting there, they didn't even know one another. One guy got tattoos and big earrings in his ear. It's all tatted up in his face and neck. Another guy looked like he's about to fall asleep. And they sit next to one another. So he probably took a picture of them, then went home and just made a huge portrait of them. And he showed a little progress on how he did the painting. Uh, since we're in the Hudson Yards, I'm gonna go head over where that big sculpture is at. And when he does the when he does the drawing of you, he just hands it to you and it's free. He doesn't charge you. I think he has like six million followers, something like that. On each platform. I would have to check. But it's somewhere in that, in that range. It's in the millions. I mean people from around the world be watching him. I think I got wind of him last year. That's when I started watching him. Sometime early last year I saw his videos and I just kept watching. And then sometime he'll repost videos. I like give be like instead of just one video you put like three or four videos and make one video out of it. Sometimes you'll see the same thing. So I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's this Saturday, but it's gonna be early in the morning. They're gonna have another and this one is new to me. Labor Day Parade. But it starts like 10 in the morning. I don't know when it ends. I'm gonna try to get out for that. I think it starts from, I think 42nd Street to, I gotta check it out. I think I got it written down or something like that. Look, I took a screenshot off my phone of when it's, uh, when it's what it is. But I don't have it written down and so I can read it off to you. Tomorrow's supposed to be the last really hot day. It hit 94 today. So it's supposed to be the same tomorrow and that'll be it. After that, we're going down from we're gonna go down to about 87 to the 70s in temperature. I'm just coming over here to see what they're doing. I don't know if they're watching a movie. Sporting event. Because they play that kind of stuff on a big screen that they have over here. They always got some type of event going. I might show And they got like beach chairs over here. I didn't see that before. That's it for this. 
you normally play in movies. Huh? Yeah, the buffering. I got to get out. Thanks for letting me know. Can do. Oh, this thing is not giving me any money. And it was hot and clear today too. This would have been a good day to, go, to be off and do a walk. Even though it was too hot for the phone. It's the clarity that I like. Clear skies. Sunny. I thought American Express didn't have a credit limit. So I was using my job's credit card to, to do the job. <laughs> I kept getting declined. I was like, what? <laughs> but these things didn't have a credit limit. So it was obvious he put a credit limit on it. And I didn't know when I passed it. Either that. I asked the supervisor, he said maybe he didn't, maybe he missed the bill or something. Yeah, that caught me by surprise. American Express, don't leave home without it. <laughs> oh man. I don't even think I went over $300. I think that might have been the limit. So I've been going to other stores to try to get stuff that the store I work at didn't have. Try to get stuff today so when I break out tomorrow, I have everything with me. carry this stuff with me today. Now I gotta go back. There's a chance I might be back around this area. I don't know, maybe this week or next week. The office I work at is not too far from here. It's like two blocks away. Like I said, maybe they'll do the event, make it an all day thing. I could go on my day off, maybe like a Sunday. I'm gonna go walk to uh, Madison Square Garden. I still haven't done this one yet. That's this building that looks like the Marvel, the Avengers Tower. It's an observation deck. The 
I think they told me it costs like 30 bucks just to stand on some glass and look over the city. I'm like, okay. I still might do it. Pretty sure that's the going rate for all of this stuff anyway. You get when you go to observation decks and look over the city. Pretty sure it's like that for the Empire State Building. And I forgot this other building that they do the same thing. They got a but the whole observation deck is glass. This one is outside. The one I was just showing that looked like the something out of a Marvel movie. Yeah, I can't remember the one I'm talking about. It's around Grand Central Station. It's on 42nd Street, going east. Can't get the name of it right now. I didn't start off with a full battery, so. That's why I'm not gonna be on too long. I'm on almost an hour. Now I know if he throws another event, I might just take the day off so I can get in. So I won't have to wait on a line. You doing Sally? It's easier for me, it's easier now for me to read the screen because it is not dimming down. Those days where I say the screen dims down, it's sunny and the sun is beating on the screen. One time it blacked out on me. I can't see nothing and the audience can see anything. Standing in the middle of the street. This is 33rd and 9th Avenue. I'm gonna see what this next iPhone gonna look like. Well, I am not concerned with what it looks like so much. It's more of how good it is, especially at night. It has a bigger sensor. That means it'll let in more light than I can see in the dark. Well, the camera can see in the dark better. So I get better night photography or videography or live streams either way you put it this is the Moynihan train hall I haven't done a video on it yet I know I can't live stream it because it has dead spots where you lose the signal. I tried it before. I think it was sometime last year and I was losing the signal. It's 
So that's that's something I would have to just do a 1080 or 4K video. Yeah, we're walking up on Madison Square Garden. And they redesigning the whole front. This is the back. We're in the back of Madison Square Garden. Hello, Karina. Well, like the front, they extended the building from the sidewalk to the end of the sidewalk. They haven't finished yet, so I probably wouldn't even go over there. But it looks nice though, they're working on it. They're refacing the whole building. So it looks like a glass building instead of the way it looked before with a little cement and whatnot. I'm just gonna walk down going 8th Avenue, so I'm gonna walk up 8th Avenue. So that Monday that I did. What saved me was I wasn't directly in the sun like I was in the past. Like last year, my phone just kept blacking out. I was directly in the sun. Plus, I was walking this year. So I started the video off walking, going into shaded areas instead of just sitting in one spot. I ain't have no choice anyway. Like $6 because you like it. Yeah, there's something at the city center, Manhattan center. You know what that is. They always have something here. I think they got it covered up. Look like they got tents around it. I think it's a designer show, as in clothing designer. Look at that big wall they got. I don't know who that is. I think it says SV or VS. I was thinking of East Saint Laurent, but it would be a Y. And I hear music, I'm not going over there. Let me see. Thank you very much. That's who it is. You told me it's Victoria's Secret. So maybe they have a runway show. 
the only thing I could think of. Yes, I should have caught that. I don't have ah, whatever. I'm leaving anyway. This is like a black tire fair, it looks like. Yeah. I don't know. That's probably invite only. Victoria's Secret. Now, see, if I wasn't live streaming, I would have just walked. <laughs> I would have probably never paid that any mind. But I like fashion shows, though. I don't want to stick around for something I can't get into anyway. They close the street off. At least I can stand in the street. Probably going to redo the street over. Look at the sky. He ain't turning. <laughs> He's about to come through. Back in the 90s, I used to go to fashion shows all the time. That was more like hip hop, fashion shows, like car canal type stuff, comedy shows. I used to go up in Harlem all the time and stuff like that. I'm gonna walk the street. They repaved the street. That's what it is. I think they're gonna try to finish it. It's not paved where I'm at, but the further I go up, that's what that truck is for. Somebody blast the music. I'm gonna have to turn the microphone off for a moment. I don't know if that guy was doing that on purpose or what. Turning the thing up. My work is top surgeries are all over. Yeah, this whole street is paved. They redone it. That's why I have no lines on it. They're probably gonna lay the lines down tonight. I got the feeling this guy is following me. I may have to take another route. I'm gonna take this all the way up. I'm gonna turn the microphone off again. Sorry about that.
Once again, sorry about turning the microphone off. It's like the guy doubled back. He was going against me. He was going downtown. And I'm going uptown. And now he's going uptown. It's like, this guy's like following me or something. Some people like to show up, so. I'm just trying to wait for him to get it far enough ahead of me so I won't catch the sound, so I won't have to touch the microphone again. They got the heavy machinery out now working on the, I don't know, maybe they're breaking the ground further up. It's a big track over there. Oh, there's a brass band out here. I wonder if there's any guys that I know. One of them looks like I know him. Yeah, I recognize the guy in the black hat. I'm headed downtown, so I will see y'all. Probably did a performance inside. The guy in the black hat, he normally performs outside at Washington Square Park. See Hello, how are you doing? Did y'all perform um, today? Oh, they... Thank you. They had a rehearsal. So they probably have to rent the space. The other guys look new to me, but at least the guys he was with. The guys ahead of me. Yeah, they breaking the street up. From here on, they're breaking the street up. That's what they're doing. They're not gonna put any white lines down until they finish the path. I guess that uh, tuba doesn't have a case. I haven't played an instrument since high school. Probably hurt my fingers and my mouth. That's the machines they use to break the ground up. Oh, this, nah, this is to lay it down. Oh, this is like 10 rolls. This is the machine that breaks the ground up. You only got one. This breaks it up and the other ones lay it down.
Be around them talking business. Man, that was hot. Oh, I was at a, a pass by a pizzeria. That's why that heat came out. I'm feeling the heat coming out of the pizzeria. You can imagine how they feel. They working there. That's the bus terminal over there. If you're familiar with the Honeymooners, Ralph Crandon, they have a statue over there of him in uniform and whatnot. So it's the bus depot. I had to take the bus over here to go to New Jersey. One of those Comic-Con type events. Turn the microphone off, that guy is coming back with the music.
Whatever way he's going, I'm going the opposite. He's going up 42nd Street. Hope I don't see him again. Whoa, check that out. Wind up buying some mini leaves. Waiting like I was running. Hey, how you doing, Steve? I ain't going to this place yet. I gotta go in here one day. Every time I'm around this area, I just walk past everything because usually I'm working. I gotta see if I can get some Comic Con tickets. Maybe somebody will sell me some. I don't want to catch those guys who be doing the ticket scalping. I don't want none of that. I want somebody who used the ticket and they leaving early. Close. It is close. <laughs> I did not expect to do a stream today. I didn't think that art exhibit was gonna be as big as it was. That's another thing. I thought I was gonna go in, do a video, leave. Turned out to be a block long. A line. That was really long. So I'm in this time, this uh, stream in Times Square somewhere. 
hope that guy's not walking with that radio. It's not even a radio, it's just a speaker. I'm pretty sure he just got a, his phone hooked up to it. new to this channel if you haven't already like and subscribe to this channel this is what I do I do live streams I do 1080 4k walking videos events and if you check my YouTube for shorts you'll see the trains the buses the boats of New York City like transportation trying to catch these events when I can when I get off work. Why? I think that guy's around here or unless it's one of those bicycles. I'm gonna have to turn the microphone off again. Sorry people. The same guy I was trying to avoid. It's a lot of traffic over here. See the guy in front of me, that's what I look like when I'm streaming. I think I know who that is. Yeah, he's a YouTuber. I can't remember the name of his channel, but I subscribe to him. Got a heavy accent. Can't remember the name of it. I think it's New York Vlogs. Let me see if I can get him. New York Vlogs! If you turn around, New York vlogs. Ah, oh, he's his mind is gone. <laughs> he's concentrating real hard to see where he's going. Cause he's mad short. Oh man, I rarely bump into him. After tomorrow, the weather is going to start ticking down as in temperature wise. Like one of these? I was calling you. Oh, you calling me? Yeah. What's your name, man? Eh? <laughs> are you New York Vlogs? No, I'm in Weiss Walking Show. Walking Show? I'll subscribe to your channel. Oh, thank you. What's your yeah. name? Yeah, Alex. Alex. Well, I'm Nice effects, that's the name of my chat. Oh, okay. I, I, I think I remember you. You, yeah. you have been into my chat. In, in, in NYC. NYC. Yeah. Um, camera. That's a microphone? Yeah. Ah, I see how more. <laughs> it's nice meeting you, man. I didn't, I didn't hear you because I it's don't too expect noise. you to because you was like real yeah. concentrating. Yeah, I was concentrating the streets <laughs> and. I'm starting to get a buffer, so I'm gonna start moving. Oh, oh it's my. definitely good Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you, man. Enjoy and have no fun. Problem. Thank you. Oh man, I gotta get away from this area. I'm starting to get that buffer. Are you doing JJ? Hey, 
Oh, I thought these microphones on these phones was enough. You got a microphone, so I guess, I don't know. Can y'all hear me good enough? <laughs> I'm like, I know I don't need a microphone for this. Unless he's trying to knock out the, when, the windy days. Maybe that's what it's for. The gust of wind pops up. But he didn't have what's called a dead cat on his. Let me get across the street. Got to turn the mic off for a moment. Yeah, there's a there's a microphone attachment that you add to your microphone, and it'll knock off the wind. It's called dead cat. Maybe that's what he's doing. That's what you would use it for. They had a stage over here. I don't know who. I don't know who was performing. It says Curtain Up Broadway Festival. That must have been something Broadway related. And I'm getting the weak signal thing again. Got chandeliers on it, so it's definitely Broadway. They build these stages up so quick and collapse them so quick. Never them 24 hours anymore. But it's all metal, so I'm pretty sure I got hinges, hinges. It can collapse easy. We got two stages. Oh, I missed whatever it was. That's for sure. Play bill. It says belted out on Broadway. Belt it out, that sounds like singing, so. You working out. Probably has a TikTok channel. The duck the music. I'm gonna be breaking out soon. Anyway. When they set these stages up, they set up so much room. It takes up so much room. Look at that. So they probably had seating over here. <laughs> Wanted to be on the other side so I can go up the steps. Well, he's the only one I've ever seen with a microphone on his um, phone streaming. Yeah, I'm not known for uh, doing a lot of talking.
supposed to be, like I said, hot tomorrow, around 94 degrees, sunny. So I might show up tomorrow also. Even though I didn't plan to really stream today, I was really looking to do a video. I was kind of up in the air about either or. Do a stream, like now, or do a 1080 or 4K video. So I wanted to do that Devin Rodriguez art exhibit. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I didn't have no, I gotta check the schedule for any events that's popping up. Turn the mic off for a moment. Oh, he left. Did he? I can't tell. One of those guys with the bicycles. Funny how laws change. If you had a radio and you was playing it loud, they call it noise pollution and give you a ticket. Now you can do it. All right, people, I'm gonna close out now. They playing music all over in this area. They just expect it anyway. For those who tuned in, thanks for tuning in to this live stream. The name of this channel is Nice Effects. My name is Alex. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to this channel. This is what I do. Live streams, 1080 4K videos short form videos of New York City. I do parades, like events, walking tours of New York City. Mainly I've been trying to catch events. Should be one this Saturday, I believe. Another parade, another Labor Day parade. 10 in the morning till I don't know when. Okay, y'all have a good day. A summer good night. Y'all take it easy. I'll see you on the next one.